We are live. <laughs> I just got the notification. <laughs> All right, what's up, everybody? Hi. It is uh, Friday, five o'clock here in LA. Thank you for Sunny everybody joining in. Make sure you tap that screen. And we just want to, let's go over here because it's really bright right there. We want to have a quick little convo with you guys, maybe 10 minutes or so. And the topic for this scope is should you share your fitness goals with other people, like your friends, your family, and other people that you love? And the reason why I'm asking you guys this question is because I'm writing my book right now and I'm thinking about what my response is. And I know that in the, in the expert world, a lot of people are back and forth on the idea. So we wanna to talk to you guys right now about that. So Jessica. <laughs> you can see that. Okay, yes, darling. What yes, darling. is your opinion on it? I say yes. I say tell everybody that you know that you have fitness goals and you're working towards your fitness because even though you're going to get some naysayers, and I know I definitely did in the beginning, people were like, why? Like, what's the point? Like, why do you want to be super fit? Like, I was training for a fitness competition. Everyone's like, what do you think you're going to win? You know, everyone was super skeptical. And it was kind of disappointing hearing those reactions. But what was good about it is that people understood when I needed to go work out or when I wasn't going to eat certain cookies or cake or whatever was being served, I was saying no to certain foods. People knew why, because otherwise you're going to get a whole bunch of questions and get a whole bunch of pressure, like especially with alcoholic drinks. That was really hard for me when I'd like show up, meet my friends at a bar and they'd all be like, why don't you have a drink? Just have one. Yeah. And then once I told them and explained I'm training for a fitness competition, I'm really going hard until such and such date, then the pressure was off and they were like, oh, okay, just have a water then. That's cool. Like people kind of get it and they relax. Okay. So before I question you on some of those things that you said, I want to hear from you guys out there. Have you guys told other people that you uh, in your world about your fitness goals? Tell us in the comments below. Uh, just keep those comments coming in. Um, so regarding your story that you just said, when you first started fitness, did you tell anybody when you first started? So you were a newbie, you didn't know what you were doing, you were nervous, you didn't know if it was gonna last? Mm, I'm trying to think. I first became a personal trainer when I was 18, and so yeah, I think I did, I told my friends and family that I was taking a personal trainer certification, and what was that last comment? <laughs> we're trying to like, we're trying to stay on topic here. We see a lot of these comments coming in, they're like, show your bodies. Oh, I thought it said boobies. Oh, I think but, somebody asked yeah. you to show your boobies as well. <laughs> so, um, keep the comments coming in. People are saying yes, some are saying no. Yeah. Um, they don't tell, so just keep going with your, with I, your Yeah, story. I was saying that, I think I did tell people that I was training to become certified as a trainer, and this is what I was gonna do and everything. I didn't really think of it back then I was just like oh why not tell people because it's the truth I don't usually keep secrets I'm kind of the one that wears my heart on my sleeve and I just am very blunt and honest about what's going on in my life so did anybody at that point when you were sharing your secret with them did any of them say like why are you doing secret. that or yeah. why yeah oh yeah I had tons of naysayers tons of that going on and a lot of skepticism people were like what are you doing that for what's the point why do you need to work out so much like kind of a lot of negativity but yeah I pushed through it and I had my own vision, you know, that was what was really, that got me through it is that I knew what I was doing and I knew why I was doing it, it was well, for myself and the that's, vision, yeah. Yeah, that's uber important as well. Uber. Yeah, that you have that, uh, that vision. So from my standpoint, when I'm actually writing in the book right now, what I talked about was be very Andrew. careful. Andrew, Andrew, Andrew. Be very careful. Looking good in your shape. Yeah, thank you. Careful. Be very careful on sharing your goals. Make sure you're sharing them with the right people that are going to keep you accountable, that are going to motivate you, that are going to lift you up when you have those bad days. Those are the people you want to share them with. Everybody wants to see the boobies. The peep. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I know everyone's so jealous right now that I'm like rubbing their sex. <laughs> so I'm trying to have a serious conversation, jealous. a serious heart to heart here. People yeah. aren't. People are sometimes negative. People yeah. are negative, and they will drag you down. There's this analogy of the crabs in a bucket. Have you guys heard the analogy where if you put crabs in a bucket, they can't get out. Eventually, one of them will find a way to get out. And when that person, when that crab is at the very top, just making his way out, the other crabs will pull it back down again because they don't want one person surviving. Crabs are bad. 
they don't want one person surviving or, or being any different than anybody else. So it's that's the thing I want you guys to be cautious about. So if you have somebody that's on the journey with you, so Kale Soup Rocks. Fortunately, husband and wife combo here. We motivate each other with yeah. fitness and with our business and everything. So when she's telling me about her goals, whether it's fitness, whether it's business, whatever it may be, like the I'm building her up. I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Let's think big. Let's get moving. But if we were in a relationship where she was overweight, excuse me, <laughs> and I was the one in shape, um, we've heard stories about this where it's like the wife will be like, why are you doing this? You, why? This isn't the man who I love. This isn't the man who, you know, I married like, and cause it makes her feel bad or it could be the other way around. Right? Like mm -hmm. you've probably... sometimes people don't want you to succeed just because they feel like they aren't succeeding. So it could be sort of like a projection and it's just, you shouldn't worry about it. You shouldn't let anybody hold you back. If you have a vision, stick to that vision. You will not have regrets because if you do it the other way and you let that person hold you back from what you were trying to achieve, yeah. you're always going to wonder what if, right? It's exactly. So that's kind of for me. The bottom line, and I'm going to read your guys' comments after uh, this scope is done so I can kind of get your opinion because that's why I wanted to do the scope is I wanted to get more opinions from people out there um, in your experiences of share, sharing your stories and that sort of thing. So, because um, we can't quite read the comments while we're scoping and we're talking. They're going on pretty fast. Yes, but we really appreciate your guys' uh, you know involvement in this. And, uh, we that, want you to tell us about your fitness goals because you know we'll be 100% supportive and that's why you know we built this community online of people who are going to support you and not bring you down. We want to encourage yeah. like, positive comments and encouragement instead of negativity and trolling. Don't be troll. <laughs> Don't be that troll. So anyway guys, um, I think Jess has to run. I got two more clients to she, train tonight so I'm off got, to the she, gym. It's Friday night and she's Friday night got a date. I think she's really got a date. Oh, right. Maybe you have to go check With your... With two women? Hey, yeah. I'd like to be in on that date. <laughs> <laughs> but um, don't let anyone judge your goals. Yes, good call. Absolutely. Get at it. Absolutely. Your goals are your goals. They're your goals. Do not let people say you can't do it. I mean, guys, this book that I'm writing... <laughs> These comments are just gibberish. This okay. book that I'm writing is so personal. I'm sharing so many personal stories about my own journey. And it just goes back to show how far I've come. And I'm not saying that to brag. I'm just saying I've been in your situation. I've been in other people's situation. And I didn't let anybody hold me down. So you shouldn't do it either. Right, boo? Same here. Kiss her, please. I will definitely. Mm, big smooch. He looks so good in pink lipstick. <laughs> uh, so am I almost finished the book? This is on like the third rewrite right now and it's being edited again because ideas just come up and I start new chapters and everything else. So the first edit or the first um, manuscript was basically just a brain dump. So now it's actually getting positioned into an actual book. But you gotta be careful that you don't get overly perfectionistic. Well, that's for you guys, it needs to be good. Yeah, but he's gonna just write it to death. So tell him, just finish it already, just publish it, just <laughs> go with it. Don't over perfectionize yeah. it. So, um, and if anybody's new to our scopes, uh, thank you for joining this scope. Make sure you, thank you. follow us because we're going to do more scopes. We're going to do more workouts, more other fun things on scope. And if you don't know who we are, go over to liveleantv.com. That's where our home is. Oh, I forgot the introduction. Subscribe today. to our YouTube channel. That's why I'm giving a heads up right now on yeah. who the F we actually are. Yeah, so we are the couple that keeps you guys living lean 365. All right. That's right. So thank you guys so much. My arm's getting tired right now. Aww. Boo's got to go train some clients. And with that said, take live and lean. Live and lean. Thanks, guys. We love you. Make sure you tap that, that hearts. Give us a few more hearts before we go. And a little more. Five, more. More than that. More than that. Four. More, more, more. Three. More. more. Two. Love you guys. And one. Boo. Boo.